Hello, I'm Tom Lodziak. Now this video is a little bit different because it's all about me and what I need to do to improve at table tennis. Now earlier in the year, I went to German Bundesliga club ASV Grunvetersbach. And when I was there, I asked the head coach, Rade Markovic, to take a look at my game, to watch me in action and to give me some feedback about what I need to do to improve. So in this video, you're gonna see some footage of me playing with Spanish junior player Juan Perez. And then we're gonna get the feedback from Rade. And he's gonna tell me the one most important thing that he thinks I need to do to improve. Bonito. Bravo. Bonito. No. 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 He, why? He wants to learn. Hmm? He wants to learn. No, he has to come. He come. And maybe better. Huh? Hmm? Maybe better. Okay. First, what I find by you, Tom, what is very important, you have to skip a rope a lot because you are very hard on your legs. It uh, disables you to move faster and to, move, uh, to put more en energy in the ball. For, for example, your movements, they are not so bad, but, but legs are too, too stiff. You have to be much smoother of your legs to, much, uh, to move much faster. faster. That's why the, the best exercise for, for those, those, those things is keeping the rope or uh, work with the coordination ladder. We will do it today afternoon with, uh, with the guys. You will see how they are doing with the coordination ladder. And uh, to be coordinated between your, your legs and upper body is unbelievably important for the table tennis. This is what I explained, explained previously about the swimming. I'm a terrible swimmer because I fight against the water you need to go with the water this is the same in table tennis you go you need to go with your body not against your body and you you go against your body because your legs are here too stiff upper part is not so bad but legs disable you to move faster and you are sp spending much more energy to move from back into forehand or other way around then then it's really needed you, you have to be here really much smoother and more in the toes. Your weight has to go forward. And this is what, what you, you, you don't play like this and then move like this. And this is what you do. You, you do like this, then you move your legs like you have one ton on your, on your legs. This has to be re really smooth. What I told you before, like, like, like a boxer, you have to move really, really smooth. And not too many small movements like this. Table tennis is one, two, one, two. Table is not five meters. You don't need to move really 55 small small movements because you are losing the time. So much time you don't have. This is for, for, for me the most important part of your table tennis issue. You will see when you start to move easier, when your body, when you start to feel your body better, you will play directly better table tennis without pre pre practicing it uh, extra. What? You think my footwork is bad? What kind of? I've had it. <laughs> but of course, he's absolutely right. <laughs> yes, my footwork is 
definitely the area of my game which I think is the weakest and causes me the most amount of issues. It's really, it's the conditioning of my legs. Um, I've always had a few knee problems and I've, I've kind of used that as an excuse not to really work on my legs, but it just means my legs aren't really strong enough. So getting down and using my legs to transfer my weight through the shots, it's just not something I've really ever got good at because my legs aren't in a condition to really allow me to play table tennis in this way. If I want to get better at table tennis, I've got to improve the conditioning of my legs. So since um, I had that session with Rade, I, there's a few things I've been doing. I've been trying to, I've been doing some weight training, trying to increase the muscle mass of my legs. I've been um, doing many of the um, exercises, coordination exercises and exercises with resistance bands, which um, the coach, Benny Gonzalez, who was at ASV Grinfetta's bag, what he was doing with the players there, you know, I started adding this into my exercise routine. And yes, Yes, I have started using a skipping rope and it's hard work and I'm not very coordinated, but it's something that I have been doing. And it's still very early days. I've really only been trying to improve the condition of my legs over the past two or three months, but already I'm starting to see some of the benefit of all of this work on the legs, finding it a little bit easier to get down into this position than to transfer the weight when I'm playing my attacking shots finding I'm getting myself over to this half of the table a little bit faster, covering that side a little bit faster. So yeah, I'm feeling springier and faster, but there's still a long way to go. I'm not gonna fix this issue in a short period of time. I'm really gonna work hard over the next two or three years and improving the condition of my legs and to see if I can really improve the footwork aspect of my table tennis. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Rade for sharing his feedback and inviting me to ASV Grimfetus back. Thanks also to Briber and to Eula for helping me to make this video. Um, if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel um, and I'll have more videos coming soon. I'll see you then. Bye bye.